joining. Uh, it's Luke J with CATI. Um, this week, basically what I want to talk about is how you can save time on your prints. Um, so we're going to take a look at two models here. Um, I'm going to hide this one first and we're going to actually work on this. So this is a huge cube here, basically, uh, that we're looking at. Um, it's not really going to need any supports due to the fact the way this was designed. The only support that it's going to use is at the very bottom. But um, you know, if if we were to print this part in ABS at 10 thou with a solid infill, okay, um, we're probably looking at around I don't know, almost two days. So right now we got 40 and a half hours of print time if we went with 10 thou solid infill, right? So let's take a look at how we can, you know, minimize the time on that machine. So if we just go to you, you know, you decide that you have your part and you need to have it solid. We're going to go and change the layer height to, to 13 thou. You know, that basically brings it down right to, to 28 hours, right? So we already cut what, 12 hours off of that build by just changing the layer height from 10 thou to 13 thou. The other thing you can go ahead and do is change it to sparse infill. Um, you know, you take a look at your part. Do you really need the part to be solid? Um, just by going into sparse infill and changing it to 13 thou um, layer height, we went down from 40 and a half hours to eight hours of build time. I mean, that's a huge savings, right? Um, you know, and there's different ways you can do this if, if you absolutely need to have the solid infill. Um, you know, I'll, I'll take a look at this part because this part I know will have supports. So if, if your part requires you to have solid infill and you have to have that 10 thou, um, you know, and if you, you run this part in ABS and 10 thou, <clears throat> let's take a look at how much time this would take uh, to basically build on a machine. Hey, you know, if, if you have these machines in house and um, you can join our classes, we, we do offer classes how to cut cut down time on, on your print jobs, how to go into insight and create your own perimeters, how to change the rosters, how to change the contours. Um, there's a lot of things that we teach. If you go to CATI.com, um, you can go under our classes. You can see the schedules. If you have these machines in house, these classes are a must, in my opinion. Um, you learn a lot of great techniques. So this part would take us basically, let's just say 24 hours, one day to print. And we're at 10 thou with a solid infill. So again, if I do a sparse infill and change it to 13 thou, it's going to lower it tremendously, right? But there's another trick if you, for some reason you need, so this basically went down to, you know, 16 and a half hours from 24 hours. But if you need to keep that 10 thou and you need to keep it solid, actually it was solid, that's why it was still that high of a number. Um, but we'll, we'll do it sparse and fill at 10 thou and we'll see the difference here. And it's going to be less, I believe, than the, just the 13 thou by itself on, sol on solid and fill. But again, going back to these classes, you know, we have different schedules to kind of try to fit your schedule. Um, but I, I'd, I'd recommend these classes to everyone. Uh, great classes. You, you get to learn a lot of things. You get to learn how to, um, you know, go into insight and actually change your parts. Uh, also teaches you on orientation. Basically, what are the best ways to orient your part? You have to take a, always look at your part and see what's more important. Is it, uh, you know, the, the structural? Uh, you know, part of your, your part that needs to is most critical. Um, you know, do you have this basically at 10 thou, as we can see, it's still 16 hours. But now if, if we actually do the solid infill at 10 thou, we said it was 24 hours. That's what it was basically earlier, right? So another thing that you can actually do is use model material as your, as your support. And that's going to actually speed up the build. So if you have to have that 10 thou, and you have to have it solid, right? Um, and the part requires some support material. It's best to use the model as a support. And the reason for it is the head of the FDM machine doesn't have to go back and forth so many times, right? Because each layer, every time it has to put in model material, it'll go and put the, the one layer down. But if it has to put support also, it has to go back, clean off, switch the tips basically, 
come back, lay down the support, right? So it's slowing down your machine, and that, that's what kind of increases the build times. Um, so let's take a look here and see. We basically cut down three hours, uh, almost three hours, by basically just using Model as, as, uh, as the support material. So there's, there's a couple key things you can do here, right? The, the different infill patterns, um, different layer height, that's going to lower down the build. Um, but there's there's just so much more, and, and we do have classes on it. If you go to CATI.com, you can look at the schedule. Um, you know, one of our application engineers that actually teaches the class, Dan Erickson, he does a great job. I sat through the class. Um, he'll teach you a lot of great things that I really didn't know before that you can do with the with the software. So, you know, thanks again for, for joining me this week, um, you know, for, for this uh, tips and tricks. Uh, again, if you guys have any suggestions, questions, feel free to reach out to us um, at buildpart at CATI.com or you can, you know, give us a call, uh, whatever you feel co more comfortable with. Thank you again and uh, have a wonderful week. As you can see, 12 hours right there just by using model support, uh, sparse infill and 10th out. Thanks again and have a great week.